Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a nice crisp sounding top loop section for your Tech House track in Ableton Live 10 using stock samples. Cool, so to start off with, let's get into Range View. So we've got some MIDI channels here, we'll get rid of these audio channels. So let's load in, we'll start out with the hats. Let's get some hats in there. Okay. And let's create a new MIDI clip, Command Shift and M. Right click to load these up here. One and two and. So we can just make the loop shorter. Okay, we'll turn our loop mode on by highlighting this section here and clicking here. You can also press Command and L to put loop mode in. Okay, this is our hat, which we are going to put an EQ on. Let's right click here. Okay. Cutting it nice and high so it's not going to affect with any of your lower elements. Okay, let's get another one of these. So we'll duplicate this so we've got the same pattern and we'll grab another sample. That's quite nice. We'll make this note a little bit longer by going onto our controls and bringing the release out. And also so that it's a little bit more dynamic. If we press the D button here, we can put a bit of time delay on it and we'll put this just slightly behind the first one. Okay, that's our hats. Get some claps in there. Okay, we'll go to claps. These are quite, let's make quite an acoustic sound. That's one, that'll do. So we'll grab this one in here, command shift and M, right click. This is going to be landing. One, two, three, four. You know what, just so we've got a kick reference, I'm going to just quickly add a 909 kick in here. Do that by holding a core kit just because it's already got drum processing on it. Let's add this in quickly. Right click one. Turn this down. Got a kick sound here. Send this. And cancel that. Okay. So we have our clap here which is a little bit plain and sad by itself. So what we'll do is we'll layer this up. Okay, command D to duplicate it. And then on this channel here, we'll add this. And then what we'll do is we'll get one more, one more clap. What have we got so far? We'll get the man shaft in there. So let's put some man shaft in your track, otherwise it's not a track. Now these notes are a little bit stale, so if we go into our controls, we can bring the release out. We'll do that for all of them. Especially the man shaft. Cool. Now we've got them here. They're all roughly the same volume. So what we're going to do to give the track a bit more space and to give your claps a bit more space, firstly we'll rename them L C R because this one's going to be the left, which we're going to pan 20 to the left, other one 20 to the right. That's a little bit long. I have my headphones on the wrong way. My left is coming out my right, and my right is coming out my left. <laughs> okay. There we go. That explains quite a lot. Cool, let's group, group these together by highlighting them all, pressing Command G. We'll call them claps. Funny that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to group process them by EQM. So we'll bring an EQ up here. 
before we do that, we're going to put a glue compressor on it to glue all the claps together so it sounds like one clap. Now we can gain stage it up. Now what to do is you can set up a send reverb. So I have a short reverb set up here. You will automatically have a, a reverb and a delay set up here. So I've got this set up here as my short reverb. I have a long reverb as well for build-ups. But this short reverb is literally just for sending the percussion to, which has got quite a lot of high spill, which gives it a sizzle. So if we send this here, Again, just by playing about with your uh, with your settings here, your EQ on your uh, reverb, you can control where the reverb comes, what you what, which EQ it's gonna hit, which frequencies it's gonna hit. Okay, so we have this here. We've got our claps. Now we want to get the shakers and the top end so that it's not just boring scats. So let's get some shakers in here. Now the technique is to use a variety of different sounds at different velocities to give that textured sound. So if we go on to, let's go on to our shaker here. So we'll use a, a pattern here. Rather than using one consistent uh, shaker, it, it depends on what kind of track you're trying to make, but if you're trying to make a groovy tech house track, I'd recommend using multiple shakers layered to, to give a more dynamic and vibrant sound. So let's get another shaker in here. So we'll duplicate this so we know where the notes are. So what we're doing here by holding the velocity, holding the pencil down is changing the velocity. Okay, let's get maybe some tambourine in there. Copy that. Tambo chop, voila, there we go. What we're going to do with this one here is we're going to pan this one to give it some more dynamics because everything's coming right down the center right now so if we pan these to the side it gives the mix a bit more space Maybe this is a bit repetitive. And then let's maybe put a, a hi hat in there as well. In fact, we could probably copy this over. Let's put a one and pattern. Uh -huh. Drums, hi hat. No, not you.
clip. And so that's pretty much there. So again, these, that one, two. We'll get an open hat in there as well. So we'll duplicate that. And then we can introduce that later in the track. Open hat. And then we're going to put one more hat in to as a bit of variation. Probably copy this over. Command D. And we'll also bring this slightly down. Okay. Okay, that's the open hat we want. I'm going to make this very infrequent, so duplicate loop. One, two, three, four, but back. See how that just sort of breaks the whole loop up? So open hat and 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 okay so let's give these guys let's put all the shakers in one oops we've missed out one poor guy here sorry mate there you go shakers so we've listened them by themselves Also glue these together. There's our hats. Okay, so we're going to put all of these in a group. Sorry, before we do that, let's um put some. Let's take the reverb off of here. And we'll put the reverb on it as an entire group so it sounds like it's all in the same space. So let's call this top section. Okay. Okay, now that we have everything here, we can process the entire group. So let's put some glue compression on it. Cool. Now that we've got that, we can put some saturation on it just to give it a bit of beef. Sorry to any of you vegetarians or vegans out there. We need to remember the gain stage, so if we look at the, the volume level there, so we'll look at the volume before. We'll try to keep it under minus 10 just so we've got enough space uh, when we're creating the rest of the track in our master um, to put any more effects on. So I'll put a glue compressor on it. I'm just taking a little bit of the signal away, I think it was 0 0.7, maybe a bit more, 1.4, that'll do it. Now we'll put our saturator on it here, again making sure that we gain stage, that's changed quite a lot. Yep, so we'll also put the saturator on it here, okay that's added an extra two, so we'll bring the frequency up here, so it's affecting the right frequencies. Bring the output down so that it's the same volume as it was before. Now we can hear it with and without. The reason we gain stage is because we can all often get tricked. Our ears can often get tricked as, as volume is better. When we hear the volume go up, we think, oh, it sounds a lot better. Whereas if you listen to it, you bring the gain down to exactly as it was before. It's called gain staging. For those of you who don't know about gain staging, um, it just means that you're... Uh, your ears aren't going to get tricked and you're actually going to hear the effects on it. Okay, so one, a couple more things. We will add a EQ to this. So let's get an EQ8 on the top here. We'll cut this quite high. 
And then what we're going to do to give some spread to the signal, we're going to click on our mode button here, M and S, which is mid and side. So you can control the EQ going to the middle and down to the side. And what we'll do is we'll put a bit of a boost. I'll put a high shelf on here and send the high, sig the high frequencies out to the side just to give the track more space. And hear it without. Then gauge stays in. What we're also going to do is we're going to set up our compressor channel here and we're going to parallel compress it as well. So if we add a return track, let's set return track, and we'll put a compressor on it, brick wallet, pack right the way on. And now we've got literally brick wall in the entire thing. And we send part of the signal to the parallel, to the compressor, and it sends the signal completely compressed back, but we can control how much comes back and it just fills out the space a bit more. Again, not too much. And that's it. Just need to build the track now. So yeah, that's how you do your top section. Couple of hats, claps, which you group together. EQ, same with the shakers. Do the exact same principle. Put them all in a group. Add a glue compressor, saturator, EQ8, parallel compress, and that will give you a nice tight sound. Again, these are just things that I do personally, but um, I found really help to get the mix sounding nice and crisp and to get your top section really piercing through through the mix. Hope this helps, guys.